What's up, guy? <clears throat> ha ha ha! Check my check. One two one two. Now, if this is your first time coming to this channel, welcome to JTI. And my name is Jason. And hopefully, you guys will stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. We do a little bit of like cycling here and there and show you guys what's good and what not. Now, I am not a pro, just an average guy. So you and I, I guess we could connect better, yeah. And today I want to be talking about part two of the MRT. Now, while doing the interview with Jill, I got a lot of information, so it was good. Now I know how much coffee I need to drink so that my body doesn't, you know, react to too much caffeine in my body. I am on the kind of mild reactive to caffeine, so I gotta go and only drink the small coffees. If you were to just drink or eat pure caffeine, mm -hmm. you're moderately reactive to it. You may consume in caffeinated coffee or caffeinated tea enough caffeine to provoke a reaction. So the rule of thumb there is to drink decaf if you can find it. If you can't, modify your intake so you're not taking in so much caffeine that you provoke a reaction. And while doing the interview, Jill talked about the LEAP program. It tells you not only the foods you're reactive to, but it tells you what food you're not reacting to. In the dietary care protocol, the LEAP program, or lifestyle eating and performance mm -hmm. program, yes, <laughs> in that booklet, focuses on the foods that are green or low reactive, because we know those are the foods that are least likely to be contributing to the inflammation. Some of you guys might not know what the LEAP program is, so I'm gonna break down what LEAP program is. But so you will see it right here, what the LEAP is. I'm gonna see it here and can I explain it to you? The LEAP program is different for everyone. It, just cause it's right for me, it's not gonna be right for you because you and I, we have different blood. Yeah, I mean like, we have the same blood cause it's all blood, but the DNA in the blood is different. You know what? I'm not a scientist. I'm not gonna get in there, but everyone's different. So whatever you are reacted to, I am not. Whatever I'm reacted to, you might not be. So don't follow my lead program because maybe you might be just consuming all reactive foods because that's not good. So let's break it down and let's see. All right, so as you can tell from the lead program, there's phases one through five on the first page. The phases one through five tells you what kind of food to eat for the each phase. So each phase is broken down. It's not exactly seven days. So phase one is actually day one through seven. And phase two is day eight through 12. And phase three is 13 to 17, which is only five days. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, five days. And then phase four is 18 to 22. And phase five is day 23 to 27. So I can, as you can see, this is my lead program. Not your lead program, my lead program. After doing the MRT test, that's how it comes out for me. So, for example, the protein on phase one, I should only be eating like tuna, soybean, catfish, shrimp, and red kidney bean. And starch like barley, grain, and buckwheat, cabbage, beet, and as you can tell, this is what I need to eat. And I have been trying to follow the leak program to the best of my ability. Like it tells me to eat tuna, but I've been eating a little bit of chicken, which you know it says I need to do in phase five. But I mean, come on, I gotta have some meat, you know. So I mean, like I try my best, but I took just a little bit of chicken. Just Right now, I'm actually on phase two. And so, on phase two, what I've noticed is the body fat that I have not been able to lose, like, I lost it. Like, my goal of 2021 was to get my body fat down to at least 15%. I've been working out, doing this and doing that, and then going on diets, one meal a day and all that. But what I found out was I lose weight but not so much on body fat. Before I used to be like, maybe like always at like 18.5, 19, like that was my comfort body fat. And right now, I really didn't do much. I've done exactly the same amount of workout. I just changed my diet into the leap. And what I've noticed is my body fat already after two weeks is I'm at, what was I at? 
I took a picture, hold on. Oh, so my body fat right now is at 17.1. Like, I didn't do much. All I did was not eat the food that my body's very reactive to. Um, whether it's red or yellow, I just didn't eat any of those food. And I already lost 1.5% of body fat in two weeks. I mean, that's not bad. Um, I guess it's because like Jill said on the video, is whenever you're eating foods that you are mildly reactive to, it's like you, you there's a fire underneath the floor. Like you don't know it, but it's there. Like it's just burning and causing inflammation in my body. So maybe that was the reason why I wasn't able to lose weight. Following the LEAP program, that's very beneficial for me. Like I didn't do much. I just lost it though, 1.5%, not bad. So after phase five, which is after 27 days, you go into phase six. Now, in phase six is actually a three day rotation diet. There's more protein here and a lot more vegetables and other foods that are mixed in. So this is when you're eating a lot more food. So same thing um, for day one, this is my protein. Day two, like those are my protein and day three. So as you can tell, like, you're not eating the exact same, you know, food or food category, I should say. Because like Jill said, your body wants diversity. Your body doesn't want you to feed them the same thing like every day, no. So like for me, it's like turkey, chicken, halibut, pork, lamb, you know? Not all on the same day, just like. And then after the three day rotation, you're gonna be actually going into food reintroduction schedule. So what that means is the food that you weren't eating before, you're gonna be kind of like eating it little by little, just a little bit, little bit, and little bit. So your body is getting used to the food back in your body because you weren't eating it, or technically you weren't supposed to eat it for the whole phase, so. Your body's not eating it. So after the white cells, I guess they die off. There's new white cells that come in. And so that's what you could reintroduce the food that you weren't able to eat before. I'm only on phase two of it. Um, after two weeks, I already feel pretty good. I mean, I'm not losing weight, but then my body fat is going down. It's not like I'm doing more workout than before. My body's gaining more muscle and losing fat. And yeah, I mean, it's weird, but I like it. All right, guys, so this is only, like I said, I'm on phase two, and there's actually four more phases. And after every two phase, I'll do a review and tell you guys how I'm feeling so far and see if it's something that you guys would be interested in. I mean, this is very, very interesting for me because for a guy like me who's been trying to lose weight and have been doing like the keto diet or one meal a day and like all different kinds of, you know, diet out there like all those diets are not for everyone because your blood and my blood we're all different and whatever they could eat maybe it's very reactive to you so that's why it wasn't working for me I loved MRT. Am I gonna take it every six years? Most likely, because this feeling of like having a very light body and not doing anything but feeling healthier, it's so good. You guys are gonna like it. From the last video, but on this video too, on the description below, we do have the promo code, use it. So you get $200 off for your MRT 170. And guys, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the like button, comment down below what you think, and share and subscribe. All right guys, peace out.